What's up guys, my name is Matt. Today I will be doing a review of the game I Expect You Not To Die 2. It is a VR game that I have purchased on my headset and I have played it all the way through. I will now be telling you guys my experience with it and how I like the game and such. And I'll be showing a gameplay throughout the whole thing. So let's get right into it. So first for my review, the first thing I'll be going over is the actual game itself and right here we have like the main kind of like the main menu for the game this is the main hub this is where you will be picking your missions. those are the six missions and right here i am putting the first one in that is what it is called it's called stage fright that's the first mission a little bit of story to the left and that's like the card for each level each level's card is like it, it's like little objectives that you do to 100% the game and that's kind of how you will 100% the game is you will use each card to see uh, different ways you can beat the level because each level is like an escape room type thing so you go into a level you try and survive and you try not to die essentially so this first level right here it is you are working for a play the famous actor John Juniper is running a event and you are essentially setting the stage because you believe there is some risky business going on at the play. So you are a spy essentially sent by the agency and you have to do a couple little tasks before you uh, start the show. And then when the st show starts, uh, the crowd gets gassed. So you have to try and stop it. And that's the essentially the premise of the first level. I have completely beat this game. I haven't 100% in it, but I have beaten the main story of the game. I do really like the story in this game. It's kind of basic. It's not too like in depth, but it is still a really good story, especially for a VR game. Most VR games aren't this in depth with a story and this story is awesome. I also like how every level is a sort of an escape room. I love escape rooms and this game is essentially just a big escape room. Like right there, you saw me uh, find a key and then I had to put the key in the thing to raise the curtain. It's like a bunch of little things that add up. Right there, you see me slam my hand into a wall, which is sometimes a problem with VR if you don't set your boundaries right. With a VR headset, you can set boundaries before you enter a game. That's me getting really hyped that I see the famous actor John Juniper down there. And I hit him with a donut. So the main characters in this game is you, the spy. It, then it is John Juniper, who is a famous actor who is maybe working for the bad guys i don't know i shouldn't say then there's this woman character also introduced who isn't really that big in the story and there is like the main spy guy you are working for the characters aren't that crazy but it makes they still make the story really uh, well and they make the story work well and it's still a good story overall the gameplay itself for vr is amazing i love how everything feels i like how you can use your telekinetic powers to make stuff come to you like right here i grab that shield bring it towards me and then i'm ready to fight some people and I, I just love how this game feels you can free stuff in the air which i think is awesome when you're going through a level and you need a bunch of stuff by your face you can just freeze it in the air so you can look around at it it's awesome this game isn't too buggy i've had a couple problems where i've had to restart a, pr a level because of some bugs or something's bugged out but this game overall works so well out of all the VR games I've played, this is the most sound and the most fun VR game I have played. The immersion for this game is so good. It really feels like you are a spy. You are trying to accomplish whatever goal your mission is. And when you throw stuff, the physics are good. I put on this hat. It feels awesome when I'm in the game. So right there, you saw me beat the level. I'm just throwing stuff around. Uh, there are a bunch of different ways to beat each level. There is no one right answer. And that's what I love about this game. So after you complete a mission, you can have your champagne. I poured it up. You can now watch me drink the champagne. I open that up. I get a cupcake out, American flag. It's awesome. That sheet right there is super important. That has the speedrun info for speedrunners. I think this game is awesome that it has a speedrunning community. And all of the little bonuses that I have checked off on that level since I have 100% that level. Overall, I give this game a 10 out of 10. It is my favorite game on the VR system. If you have a Oculus Quest 2, I recommend this game so heavily. It is amazing. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I Expect You Not to Die 2 is a 10 out of 10.